Hi guys, and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at four awesome easter eggs that can be found in Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville, which reference other games in the PvZ franchise. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. So Easter egg number one was suggested by a number of people and can be found in the center of Giddy Park. If you use the jump pad and head down these stairs, you will come to one of the many merchandise stores that have lots of plushies in them. But that's not the only thing inside. You will also notice these little snow globes. Now the globes themselves are pretty normal, but if you look at what's inside them, you will see the Garden Warfare 2 references. So inside each of the snow globes is a number of different items that represent represent different places in one particular Garden Warfare 2 map called Seeds of Time. This was an incredible turf takeover map that took place in a magical theme park where you went through these giant portals that took you to different places in time. So each turf objective would take place in a different setting. So we have Funland, which is represented by the Pink Castle, Dino Lands, which is the volcano, Seagypts, the sand and the palm tree, Asia, the gate that looks like the math symbol for Pi, the stone archway that represents Rome, and finally the castle to represent the castle. Also, if you play Garden Warfare 2 and look at the merchandise in the Seeds of Time map, you will notice that the snow globes are exactly the same as the ones found in Battle for Neighborville, which is pretty awesome. So the next two Easter eggs are related to the start screen in Battle for Neighborville. So this is the first menu you see in the game where you have to press any button to continue. Now, as much as I enjoy watching the AI fight each other, I would like to turn your attention to the left side of the screen where you can see this little sign sticking out of this plant pot which has an image of a pea shooter on it. But this is not the typical 2D pea shooter we are used to seeing in Plants vs Zombies 1 or 2. It's actually more similar to the pea shooter found in the newest addition to the franchise, Plants vs Zombies 3. Here is an image in case you are curious. Now of course with any easter egg this could be a coincidence that this sign looks like the PVZ3 pea shooter, but I like to think that this is a mini easter egg they put in as PVZ3 was the next game to release after Battle for Neighborville. There is also a much bigger version of this poster on the zombie side of Giddy Park if you head over to the tent where you change teams. One final note about this easter egg is that it was mentioned to me by someone in the comments section of a previous video but as much as I tried I couldn't find the comment so I apologise for not including your name. Easter egg number three is also related to this menu screen and I believe this one was added in fairly recently and there were quite a lot of people who informed me of it. So basically sometimes instead of being greeted by the typical start menu you will come across this menu. And as you can see we have a setup of the original PVZ backyard with five lanes, lawn mowers and plants being spawned in to protect the house from the zombie threat. Also similarly to the usual main menu this is procedurally generated so this means each time this appears there will be a different outcome to the battle. Sometimes the zombies will win, sometimes the plants will fend them off. Now I found the best way to get this menu to appear is by loading up the game which will give you the usual menu but then if you wait about a minute or so without pressing anything the game will start to play the Battle for Neighborville trailer. Once this starts just press any button and the main menu will restart but this time you will have the backyard menu instead. The other way of doing this is just through pure luck. Now the final easter egg in this video is related to a Captain Deadbeard hat that you can get in Garden Warfare 2, which is this little multicolored crab wearing a pirate hat. Well there is actually a pretty big reference to this in Pressure Pier, but you've probably not noticed it. So in the middle of the map is a very large statue and this statue is made up of three multicolored crabs and of course the top one is wearing the pirate hat. This easter egg information was provided by that grind. I'm sure I'd have never noticed this had they not mentioned it in the comments. So a big thank you for that. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of these easter eggs in the comments below and let me know if there are any other easter eggs you have come across. But other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.